I uh, received a call from a company that sells mouse traps, and they sell them in wholesale, and they buy them in large quantities, but they need to be able to batch this. And currently, they have to count out all of their board traps, and that's what I'm showing you over here. Um, those plastic trays and that paper stack right there and this paper stack, um, this particular one here, they're three up, and then they have perf lines in them. But anyhow, they need to be able to batch them, and right now they spend days sitting around counting them. So this application here is uh, so they can count them in 12s, and um, they get six bundles of 12 per, per carton that they're shipped out in. And then from here, I'll be working with them on whether these um, go into a stacker, whether they get paper banded, whether they go into a shrink wrapper, there's, you know, so we'll have to work out the rest of the solution, but they wanted to know if I could batch them and here's what this is here. There's 12. don't stop they're gonna go all over the floor but yeah it it feeds them quite well um, on this application instead of the ball rail I would have um, um, drive rollers or wheels here at the end um, this machine is going out today for a company that this goes on the end of a um, carton packing machine so every time it makes a cardboard carton this machine will insert some paper that has to go into their carton for fulfillment so it's just kind of uh, temporarily set up to do this. There you have it, mouse trap counting. And these have a, these have a glue board, so these are uneven. Um, you can see it's got the, the glue on the back. It's got uh, cellophane paper over top the glue. They're die cut. Um, there's plenty of opportunity for them to snag together, but, um, uh, but they're light and airy, so they really don't. Um, I have a different model, slightly different model feeder. Um, this is um, a little bit different than my current model. This is um, one before. The current model is it's a straight shot out. It doesn't quite have this little, there's a little bit of a bend here that flattens it out. Um, but um, there's a couple snag points up here that the die cut piece can hit on. Um, that could be remedied on this model too, though, just by adding an extra couple of uh, exit belts. So this one only has two exit belts, so I could add a couple more belts or some wider belts, and that would eliminate some of that there as well. But um, and you know, it's got some guide hold down straps in that because they were coming up. But um, yeah, there, there's not too many things that um, I can't count on one of these. Um, designed one the other day, it'll count four foot by four foot sheets of board stock. Think about that, four foot by four foot, four foot board stock, um, and batch it and roll it into a tube all at once, one process. Anyways, AccuFeeder, this is Brent Barnhart, in my kitchen. This is a different type of, uh, different size mousetrap, I suppose. Um, I'm gonna batch in 12. I don't really have the feeder set up quite right for this, to be honest with you. Um, but it's going to count them correctly. It's just going to come down the ball rail a little bit crooked because I need to move the belts in. And that, um, and for this particular job, I wouldn't use a ball rail. I'd use drive wheels. But the ball rail works okay. So I'm going to go ahead and just batch for this video here. And here we go. I'm going to do 12. There's 12. There's 12. And then, of course, we'll set up some solution that um, jogs these, go into a jog box with a drop bottom um, and put them nice on a conveyor, nice and neat. Um, or they can go into a bander and get paper banded, or they can go directly into a um, shrink wrap machine so that when they come off this, they can be coming down a conveyor just like that, go right into a shrink wrap, poly bagger, or a paper bander. And that way they won't have to sit around and count these out 12 at a time. Um, you get six batches of 12 per carton, they're telling me. Plus, I was just thinking, I think the manufacturer's name is what's on the trap, but the, the retailer has a different name. I'm not positive of that. Um, but they can put an inkjet head on here, 
and personalize these traps so that for every trap goes out, it's got their name and phone number on it. So when they go to replace it, they know who to call. So here we go again. There's 12. And I'm going to speed it up a little bit. It's not set up quite right to run at high speeds, but I'm going to turn it up just to hear more. There's 12. There's 12. Um, I'm not sure if the one that, that one there went with the last batch. I'd have to I'd have to check, but I'll speed it up even a little bit more. Those are batches of 12. And there you have it. Uh, this this will count anything from something as thin as copy paper all the way up to half inch thick. And uh, we have all kinds of jog boxes, intelligent conveyors, joggers. Um, so if you're doing fulfillment, you can put multiple feeders that um, only feed certain pieces of literature into your fulfillment systems based on a barcode or based off of another trigger or photo eye. When it pulls a pair of Levi's, it only pulls off of certain feeders that go in that box. If it pulls... Um, a set of wrenches or something up in your fulfillment, then only certain feeders trigger. So lots of ways to um, use these intelligent feeders to feed Brent Barnhart AccuFeed. <laughs>